Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into the video. Today, we're going to be talking about different tips to prepare yourself for the board when you want to go up for BTZ. So, I want to tell y'all what happened, everything that happened, how to prepare for it, and hopefully, you win. At your two-year mark, you will have the chance to go up for this thing called BTZ, which is below the zone. And that's basically when you promote six months earlier to senior airmen than you would have. So I was originally supposed to sew on senior airmen next year in May, but because I'm a BTZ, I'll be able to sew on in November of this year. So you see how that works? Okay, so I knew, cause okay, there's this thing called the BTZ calculator that you can Google up, type it in, and it'll tell you like if, if it'll tell you when you're eligible, when you should be eligible to do the board for BTZ. You will coordinate with your supervisor and tell them, hey, I would, I would like to do, I would like to go for BTZ. I say try it. You never know if you might win. It's a good experience. So I would, you know, get my, get with your supervisor if you do want to go up for it, or they might just put you in for it. I mean, it depends. What happened was I knew the time was coming. I know my supervisor told me, hey, you know, I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna write you a package for BTZ. Now the package that your supervisor is writing is a bunch of bullets, a, bu a bunch of leadership things that you've done. So make sure y'all volunteer, make sure y'all, you know, doing y'all job, how you're supposed to be a leader at work. So, you know, they can write that up and all this other stuff. They'll make it sound like really good. And then you have the board. Now the board consists of, I think four to five people and they're sitting in this room and you have the march in. And usually they do the Airman's Creed, like you come in and you will start off with the Airman's Creed. However, they didn't do this for my board. I don't know why, but they came out and they told us, hey y'all, y'all have to do the Airman's Creed. Mind you, I practice, I studied like every single day to get it, but it's whatever. Most of the time, you're gonna have to know the Airman's Creed. So I would say study up on the Airman's Creed, like know it from the back of your hand, like you have to know it. Study the Airman's Creed, study, current events that's going on in the world because they might ask you something that's going on in the world current event how you feel about it and stuff like that look up different afis i know i looked up dressing appearance afi different afis here's the thing you don't know what they're going to ask you you have no idea and so you kind of have to just have this general idea of things that they that they might ask you i know i was like that's retarded but yeah okay so you prepare whatever you go and I was the last person so you're sitting there you're waiting and before before we went in they told us like yeah, I don't have to do the Airman's Creed they told us how to report in and stuff like that so we went in and it was me and my supervisor that went in so we came in and the office was really tiny so I didn't really have to like march far and do all this weird stuff I marched I reported to the board and then I sat down they wanted practice an introduction they're gonna want you to introduce yourself tell us about yourself you know practice it make it sound natural you know don't be all like robotic make it sound natural they're one they want to get to know more about you the two questions that i remember they asked me three questions well for the introduction one question i can't remember one of the questions was what was your most memorable experience in the air force and if you're trying to think of an answer this is what i did when i was trying to think of an answer i asked them to repeat the question so that i have more time to think of an answer i know people like to repeat the question back and the answer to the person and I was like can you repeat the question I literally did that to like every question <laughs> last question they had was if you saw your supervisor bullying somebody what would you do and I said that I would pull that person to the side and I would have a, I would talk to them and tell them that that's not okay even though I am a lower ranking individual I would still pull them to the side because that's how you have suicides and stuff like that then they're gonna ask you do you have any questions you know something like that if you don't have any questions always make sure you thank them for taking the time out to do the board for you so also tip is always be confident in your answers even if you don't know the answer to something be confident about it so you could be like well sir ma'am i don't i'm not sure the answer right now but may i please get back to you with a proper response or something like that and then when you say that please make sure that you email them like right after the board because it makes you look good it makes you like okay she or he kept his word or their word okay i'm a you know i don't know that might keep you up on this point i'm not sure just coming in there with confidence and not showing that you're scared if you really think about it like this these people are human they're just as human as you okay they cry okay 
you're going to get serum airman anyway so it doesn't really matter you know if you get it early that's great if you don't get it early you're going to get it anyway so don't beat yourself up if you don't get it also i you know i prayed before i went in and that's what i did because i can't do nothing without the lord and so i was like god please help me <laughs> so that was pretty much it um so but yeah main takeaways from this video be confident study the airman's creed study up on current events study up on afis just overall air force information stuff that you should know oh definitely study your rank structure also have in mind why you want to be a scene like why do you want it they didn't ask me that, but I did prepare for, I did prepare, you know, a little speech on why I thought I deserve to be senior airman, <laughs> why I deserve to be promoted six months earlier. Have that in your mind. Like, why do I think I deserve to be, why do I deserve to be all these other people? Well, you know, do you take the initiative at work? Are you hardworking? Are you, do you have a good attitude? Those things come into play and you know, so also after we were done, so after we were done, I, you know, I thanked them and everything, I left. They had my supervisor stay behind Now They might not do this for y'all boys, I don't know, but they had my supervisor stay behind and they want him to talk about me. Like, tell us, you know, you tell her, you tell us what you think about her. And he said some good stuff. So sh shout out to my supervisor, but he said some good things about me. And so I don't know if that came into play, but come to find out today, they were telling me that I was the number one like the number one selection the number one pick like no questions no no conversation like they knew that i they wanted me to be one of the winners because it was three spots there were three uh three stripes that they wanted to give out and i was one of them hallelujah thank you if y'all have any questions any video ideas anything y'all want to see just let me know put it down in the comment section down below and i'll get to y'all on that okay so i want to say thank y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video bye